Yes, been waiting all day long for this to come in the mail. Finally came, so happy. Today's my day off. Tomorrow we're back in the gym, so it could not be better timing. Oh my gosh. How long have I been waiting for this? All day, literally. How often have I been talking about it? Since you ordered it like two days ago? All day, all day. <laughs> Here it is, the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. So sexy. So you've probably all heard the phrase, practice how you play. It basically means just try to simulate the exact environment in which you'll be performing in whatever sport you're doing. So, for an example, if you're competing in the IPF, a federation that uses squat stands that you have to walk out in very, very, very stiff bars to deadlift on, you shouldn't really be training every single day on a monolift and using deadlift bars. If you guys don't know, the USAPL is the US branch of the IPF, and I have my first USAPL meet of 2016 coming up in May, May 28th in Johnson, Rhode Island, and then after that, I'm aiming for nationals. So I want to try to emulate how the USAPL rolls as best I can in training. And if you guys don't know, they use very, very, very stiff competition Alico barbells. Um, these are barbells that Alico made specifically for the IPF. What I wanted to do was order one of those bars. They're a good thousand bucks. So before I went and invested in that, I asked around. I asked a lot of people who compete in the USAPL and the IPF if they know of any bars that are similar in specs and feel, but not quite as expensive. Because I do know part of that is the name brand. Alico is an age-old legendary name brand. They've been in the Olympics. They've been around forever. And I know that this bar is also custom made for the IPF, so the demand is higher. So I'm wondering if there are lesser known barbells that have the same exact specs. Everybody, shout out to Sean, Nor <laughs> Sean Noriega and Adam Hamden. They both linked me to this one. But a bunch of people chimed in and told me about the uh, Rogue Fitness Ohio Power Bar. And specifically, this guy right here, they have a couple of different options. They have the base option, which is only about 250, and then you can upgrade to the black coating and the longer sleeves. And the sleeves, the longer sleeves don't make the barbell longer. This barbell is the exact same length as the Lico bar the USAPL uses. They simply took the thickness of the cuffs here and brought it way down. So you see these thin little cuffs, and that's how the Lico bars are at the meets as well. And this does actually make a difference. It does bring the weight closer into your body and that difference in distribution of weight will also make the bar feel different. It's less whip, less flex in the bar. So that will make a difference. So I wanted to uh, get it as close to USAPL feels as possible. Uh, just to give you guys the price in case you're interested, this bar here was only about 325 bucks. $14 for shipping, amazing reviews up and down, and I even wrote down all the specs of each bar, and they're like identical. Uh, the Alico bar for the IPF is 215,000 PSI, this one's 205,000 PSI. So, you know, 10,000 difference, it's not different at all. Uh, the average barbell is like 130 PSI. The exact lengths are the same, um, both are about 2200 millimeters long. Both bars are 29 millimeters thick. I actually had a couple of powerlifter friends tell me that um, they've squatted with this thing after using the Texas squat bar, which is what I squat with. And they said this is way stiffer than the Texas squat bar. And that's a 55 pound bar. So I'm excited, man. Uh, this came in just in time. Tomorrow we're doing high bar squats. Very lightweight, like 260. So I don't even think I'm gonna use it for those. But um, the day after that we're doing deadlifting and that's when I'm gonna bring it in and take it for a test drive with the almighty deadlifts. And that's where it will make the biggest difference of all. Yeah. So listen closely because there's a lot of details and it comes quick. So buddy Rob throws a theme party. That's my friend Ryan Butler. He filmed videos for me before and it was at his birthday that me and Ari got united at. So those of you who've been watching my channel for years since I was a teenager back in the vault days know that I've always loved cigars. The occasional cigar once in a while. I never smoke anything that I have to inhale, but the occasional cigar, puff puff, taste it. It's a fun time. So finally, I decided it's time to step up my game. So I just made this little uh, this little shopping haul here at the Humidor, which is an awesome cigar shop. You can go in and shop for cigars and sit down and smoke there if you want to. Um, it's right next to my gym, Ocean State, and I've never been there. And go figure they're closing down now and relocating. But anyway, I got this new Humidor. Super pretty color. I love it. Good beginner Humidor. Um, this is the little disc that you get wet, but the guy actually threw in this for me for free, and you this will actually keep the humidity in here for like four months or more. Whereas these little discs, you have to um, constantly keep like adding water to them. I got my distilled water too. But I got a nice cutter for it with its own little case, leather case. And then I got this awesome lighter. This thing's awesome just because who doesn't like nice lighters in general? And this is um, 
a butane lighter and it's the torch style too so it's good for like windy situations and it even has its own little cutter here it's a little uh little hole puncher here if you're ever without a cutter which is pretty awesome look at it down there it's looking all sexy like it knows I'm looking, and it knows I'm looking. It knows I want it. I keep peering down there. So excited to use that thing. It's like it's like when you get a brand new car and you just keep looking out into your garage. Oh, I can't wait to drive you tomorrow. Steak time, baby. Woo! Yeah, amazing midnight cooking. These are the seasonings I used. A little bit of adobo. Didn't go crazy with that. Some steak burger seasoning. Just a little bit of that lead on that too. And uh, backyard brick oven, which is amazing tasting. So. Pretty ecstatic, keeping them on the outside of the pan. This pan's all warped, bends in the middle, so this is the colder side out here. And I know I'm gonna get comments about um, how the Teflon or whatever it is, the coating of my pan's all scraped away. If I die, I die. But serious note, like I said guys, the same reason my dresser upstairs hasn't been replaced despite missing the drawer, I'm mentally already out of this place. I was on the phone with my realtor the other day. The condo's looking good, knock on wood. If I can get that condo locked down, boom, moving in there. I'm going to just refurnish that entire place with all brand new furniture. It's going to look like a gentleman's palace, not, not like this. <laughs> so I'm not buying anything new for this house. Just going to ride it on out until I'm out of here in a couple of months. And mo chicken for tomorrow with more thawing out for after. Boom. That's pretty awesome. The 350 pound bench club. And it has the, the 345s and like the little place there. That's awesome. And then there's the 400 bench club with the four plates lined up in a row. 300 pound bench club with the three plates. <laughs> I love it. And it, uh, a couple different color options there actually too. That's pretty solid. Boom, the big three. Squat, bench, deed lift. Guys, Brett Gibbs, my coach, the world champ, just informed me that um, he is fully restocked on new clothing. So you guys see me rocking his squat, bench, deed lift t-shirt all the time because I have a couple of them and I love training in them. Just letting you guys know because I do get asked a lot where the where to get those shirts specifically. He has just released them. Um, each shirt has its own separate link. So I've linked all five shirts in the info box below for you guys. Great news, made major breakthroughs last week during training. Squat form, bench forms, all looking very clean, fast, powerful, and consistent. It doesn't break down by the last set. So Brett said, we are finally ready to graduate into heavier training with the bench and squat. Finally, some more fun footage for you guys. Deadlifts, he just wants to wait till he sees a little bit more consistency, but he says they're looking good, and we haven't been using exactly lightweight for them anyway. Um, I didn't film all week long for this channel, but I did put my training footage every single day up on my side channel, Nick Wright Live. So if you guys want to see my training footage almost every single day, even when I don't upload on this channel, go to Nick Wright Live, subscribe, check those videos out. Um, very excited. I am not filming today. Well, I will film and put it on Nick Wright Live, but I'm not filming for this channel today because we're just doing light high bar squats, 260 pounds, and we're doing incline dumbbell pressing. 100 pound dumbbells for four sets of eight, so it's going to be fun, but not anything record breaking, not anything you guys haven't seen. So I'm not going to bother filming a big thing for this channel, but tomorrow, Tomorrow, I will link up with you guys in the same video and bring you with me for deadlift day with the new barbell. That will be fun. So see you tomorrow. And just to reassure you, cigar fanatics, I did buy a hygrometer for this thing and I am seasoning it. This is actually the last day of seasoning. I just took the sponge out and just put this stuff in and I'm gonna let it sit for the, its last 24 hour period and then it'll be all good to go. Didn't want any of you guys to panic and think that I was gonna ruin the cigars on you. Boom. There it is, all stashed and ready to go. We're heading to the gym now, deadlift day, nothing heavy. Uh, we're doing a lot of technique and speed work with 405 pounds. We gotta do five sets, really working on keeping the technique nice and tight, keeping the speed fast, and we're gonna test this bar out, see how it feels on deadlifts for working sets.
So official barbell review, that thing is a monster. I, I'll be honest, I was half expecting to use it and not really feel much of a difference between that and a normal barbell. I was like expecting to report back, don't don't spend your money on it, it's not worth it. But I, no, that thing lives up to every ounce of hype. That is the stiffest barbell I have ever deadlifted on in my life. That thing is crazy. Um, it is unforgiving in any slight minute deadlift form flaw or error that you have that you can usually just muscle right on through it will highlight those flaws because there's no slack you can't pull the slack out you can't gain momentum from the bottom you either pull perfectly or it's going to highlight your flaws no matter how small they are um so what was cool about that is uh as i was deadlifting i went in there expecting to just focus on making the reps as fast as i possibly could but that first set it moved nice and fast but I could feel where my form was leaking because of the bar. And it, it was it was in ways that I hadn't really noticed it before because of the other bars I'd use had some slack to them and you could kind of just muscle through them and not really notice. Uh, so what I ended up doing today is I focused on mind to muscle connection. And for the rest of the sets, I really focused, consciously focused on activating every muscle. I focused on loading the hamstrings from the beginning of the rep, flexing the glutes, activating the glutes, driving the hips through for the lockout. I consciously focused on the mind to muscle connection for all of that. and. That took the speed down a little bit, but it really helped me clean up my technique. So by the end of it, I felt it all in my glutes and hams. I felt nothing in my back, which is great. And my back looked nice and straight in the mirror. So very happy with that. And I wouldn't have been able to notice and highlight those flaws and work on them as well if it wasn't for the stiff bar basically calling me out on them. So I 1000% recommend the Ohio Power Bar. Thing is stiff as hell. I need to personally work on getting better at reps. And I'm excited because I just got an email from Brett Gibbs and next week we begin some heavy training, finally. Woo hoo! Okay, okay, just one last cigar update. Just came home to this bad boy in the mail. Little, uh, little triple cigar carrying case with a built-in humidor, built-in humidifier. It is a humidor, it has a humidifier, so that's pretty cool. Holds three cigars for when you're on the go. Okay, I'm done with the cigars now.